Hello friends, here in this video we will see a problem on involute of a circle. For that, here is a question. One end of an inelastic string 125 mm long is attached to the circumference of a circular disc of 50 mm diameter. The free end of the string is wound around the disc, keeping the string always tight. Draw the locus of the free end and name the curve. So this is the question in front of us. Now here in this question, if we see it is given that there is an elastic string which is wound around the disc and keeping the string always tight. So when an inelastic string is wound around the disc, keeping the string always tight, the curve which we get it is called as an involute. So now I would be drawing an involute here and for that I will have to take the diameter as 50 mm. So I will start with that. The diameter is 50, so radius is 25 mm. <clears throat> so keeping this center, radius is 25 mm. Here I'll draw the circle next. I would be dividing it. Dividing the circle into 12 equal parts so that we get more number of points to draw the curve. Measuring 30. So when the circle is divided into 12 equal parts, each angle would be of 30 degree. After I have divided it into 12 equal parts, here I will give the notation. Next, when I calculate the circumference of the circle, the diameter is 50, so therefore circumference is pi d which gives me the value as 157 mm so next I'll mark this circumference that is 157 mm over this horizontal line Then, like I have divided this circle into 12 equal parts, similarly this line 
which represents the circumference will also be divided into 12 equal parts for that i am measuring an acute angle here of suppose 15 or 20 degree it should be less than 45 so i am taking 20 degree here then i'll divide this line which is inclined into 12 equal parts by taking one centimeter distance in the compass So divided this into 12 equal parts. Then connecting the last division up to the point where I was getting the circumference which is 157 mm. Drawing parallel lines. Then in a similar manner, giving the notations here as well on this horizontal line. Now in this question, the length of the string which is given is of 125 mm. It means the length of the string is less than the circumference which is 157 mm so i'll mark the length of the string here that is 125 mm One twenty five mm. So this point represents the length of the string. And now, when the involute will be drawn here, it should end at this location because the length of the string is less than the circumference. That is, when the string is wounded over this circle, it won't be completing a complete circle, it will end between 9 and 10. So this much part will remain. So for that, I'll measure the distance from point 9 up to point P and it is between 9 and 10. So here I get point P on the circle now after this I need to draw the tangents from each of the points so starting with point number one
so after drawing the tangent through point 1 next I'll measure the distance from point P to point 1 keeping it on point number 1 that is the tangent and I'm marking over this tangent so here I'm getting this point next drawing the tangent through point 2 So like I have marked from P to 1, now I will measure the distance from P to 2. Cutting this tangent. Similarly, drawing the tangent through point Measuring from P to 3 Keeping it on point 3 <coughs> Next Measuring from point 4 Measuring from P to 4 Keeping it on point 4 Marking on the tangent Then from point 5 Measuring from point five up to P, keeping it on five and marking at the tangent. <coughs> Then drawing the tangent through point 6 Measuring from 6 to P
keeping it on 0.6 marking over the tangent drawing the tangent through 0.7 Measuring from P to 7 Drawing tangent through point eight, measuring from eight to P. Then drawing tangent two point nine, measuring from nine to P. Keeping it on point nine. cutting the tangent now all these points needs to be connected in order so that we get the involute here I'll give the notation that this is point 1 dash 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 joining these points in the proper sequence with, with the help of a French curve
next i'll join all these points and make them dark first i have drawn it light Next, I'll make this circle dark. In the question it was given that draw the locus of the free end and name the curve. 
so this is the locus and here i'll say that therefore the curve is an involute and next here we can even draw tangent and normal since it is here in the question it is not given that we have to draw the tangent but if it would have been given then how to draw that for that here we are already having tangents to this base circle so we can take any one of the tangent here like this or if we want then we can select any any other point onto the circle as well like I'm selecting a point here and then drawing a light line through that point next this point will become my reference so taking it as the reference here drawing a tangent now this is a tangent to the circle as we see here next after drawing this here I'll draw a tangent to this curve passing only through one single point and then I'll make these lines dark So here t t dash I'll say that is the tangent and n n dash that is the normal so that is tangent and normal to this involute so this is the way we have to show the tangent and the normal next here I'll give the dimensions to the circle diameter is 50 mm So this is the circumference pi d equal to 157 mm and here is the length of the string at last drawing the center lines through the circle and with this the problem gets completed.